in this video we are going to test the water resistance of the Samsung S22 Ultra. This device is IP68 so we are going to test this device beyond 30 minutes and we will see if the device is still responding. We will also look for any damage done to the device and any area of the device where water has entered. If you are new to our channel consider subscribing. We specialize in smartphone content. This test is going really fast. We are already at 8 minutes. The device is underwater, submerged and it is still responding. No damage has been done yet to the device. The full submersion of this device is a really bad test for the device. It is IP68 rated, yes, but IP68 is only for 30 minutes. And one quick fact, all of the water damage that happened on a smartphone happened in the first 5 minutes. The ability of the device to hold water outside of its internals is mainly due to the condition of the device. If your device has a crack, that's not a good idea to have your device near a source of water or even put your device inside water. Another very important thing is if your device has been repaired, either the back glass or the camera glasses, I recommend you to not put your device inside water or avoid any kind of water source for your device that has been repaired. I have tested the water resistance of a Samsung S21 after repairing the back of the device and the device was functional up to 7 minutes. After 7 minutes, the device turned off, the circuitry of the device went south, everything turned off, the device was not responding at that moment. So the best thing that you can do is avoid water if you repair your device. If you're very curious like me and still want to do it, make sure that your disassembly skills and your teardown skills of a smartphone are excellent because you're going to perform a disassembly if your device turned off unexpectedly. We should be very close to 30 minutes now. I've been playing with this device inside this tank and it has been fully submerged for a while now, closing out to the 30 minute mark. A real water resistance test is not a water resistance test if it has not gone past 20 minutes, 30 minutes or more. And that is why we are seeing a lot of bubbles forming all around the device and the device is feeling the pressure of the water that has been exerted on the surface of the device since we started this test. Do you think we will ever get a better rating than the IP68? It has been the standard for more than 3 years now. Let me know in the comment box. This Samsung S22 Plus has been submerged in water for more than 31 minutes now. The device is still alive. The screen is glowing. It is still responding as you can see in the video. The device is still alive and the touch screen is responding but it does not mean that the device will not get some kind of water damage situation in a few hours. So we need to test the cameras, test any other features that you have on your smartphone and the next step that we need to take is to remove the SIM card tray and see if the SIM card tray has any trace of water and as you can see the SIM card tray has water past the seals of the SIM card tray but it is a tiny part of water, a tiny particle of water, I don't think it has done any damage. And the most abnormal thing that I have seen with this S22 Plus after being submerged 30 minutes is that the device did not sense water inside the charging port. This is something that is a little bit concerning because the device should sense water inside the charging port and push a notification as soon as the device is in contact with water, mainly the charging port. So after submerging your device, you need to expel the water. You can do it manually like I did it a few minutes ago by waving the device with a lot of force. But that is a little bit risky because if the device slipped out of your hand, you risk to break your device. You can also use some music expelling water sound. It is going to work and expel the water out of the bottom speakers and mainly the water out of the front speakers. 